It's the opening round of the NFL playoffs, and EA Sports continues its coverage of Super Wild Card Weekend. It's the Ravens and the Patriots under the lights on Sunday night. It's a site that has seen more than its fair share of great playoff memories the last few decades, and more could be in store as we've got playoff football again at sold-out Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Coming up, it's the final game of Wild Card Weekend, and we've got a good AFC matchup in store between the Baltimore Ravens and the New England Patriots. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And, Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp throughout the season to get to the playoffs. The intensity level will be off the charts. for the Lamar Hunt Trophy begins as we're underway in this AFC wildcard game. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And when you think about his performance this year, you have to have nothing but admiration the way that he passed his team into the playoffs. They threw it around so well in the regular season, but in this game, the elements may affect them. I think they'll continue to fling it around until the weather slows them down. And if it doesn't, they'll continue to show the style that they've shown throughout the season. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Good running right there. And this is a man who was a thousand yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. Well, he's taken down, but not before picking up the first thanks to a flashy little spin move. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And Jackson going to run again. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. On third down, Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down. An empty possession, not what they were seeking. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Patriots take over. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. Leading them out, the second-year man from Alabama, Mac Jones. And he comes off of a really good regular season with over 4,000 yards passing. And now in the playoffs, people always ask the question, do you continue to play the way you played in the regular season? Do you turn it loose? Or do you tone it down a little bit? I think you've got to be smart. But make sure you show the defense something they haven't seen before. First carry for Damian Harris, the Alabama man. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. 
throwing Jones, eluding the pressure right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Now a first down carry for Harris. And across midfield he goes into Raven territory. Getting in there for the tackle, Marcus Williams. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Meanwhile, Jones' throw there complete to Myers. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 39. He had over 100 catches in the regular season, and now he's got his first catch of this wild card game. Jones on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Henry. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. On second down, this is Harris. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. I think that's the type of run we'll continue to see throughout this game. The snow coming down, I don't expect a lot of big plays to be broken. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Off the play fake. Jones. And this one complete to Smith. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Time vet Nick Folk for the Pats field goal try. It'll come from the right hash. It's a 47-yard attempt. Folks' kick is good. And the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one-possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks will tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. They bring the five seed into the playoffs. Of course, they're one of the wild card teams. And when you're a wild card team, it makes it a little bit tougher. You have to win the extra game. But there's been a precedent set of teams doing that successfully in the past. And it's usually teams that have aspects that really jump out at you and it really factors in the playoffs. I mean, Pittsburgh, they wrote a heavy run game with Jerome Bettis when they won in 2005. And then don't forget the Giants in 2007 that season. Pass rush. Remember how big that was for them during the playoffs? Playoffs. And for Green Bay, it was the quarterback play of Aaron Rodgers. So to me, it's a matter of what's going to affect the game in a big yeah, way. Yeah. Can that aspect of your team really make those plays? A lot of times it's pass rush and quarterback play. And they run the option here on first and ten. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower post game. So an early 10-0 lead for him now as they kick it away. From the six. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They've been a come-from-behind team all year. They'll need to do it again as they trail early in this wild card game. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 21. He'll start with a handoff to Dalvin. And a short pickup to about the 25. 
I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Good running right there. And this is a man who was a 1,000-yard rusher in the regular season, so you know he's going to get his chances. And he picks up nice yardage on that one. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Jadavian Clowney just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. We said it before the game. I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. Ooh. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. To try again after the sack. Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Here's Jackson to throw. He'll dump this off complete to Dobbins. And he's going to be taken down here, still a couple yards short of the first. Only able to gain a couple there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. But he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Ten-nothing the score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this concern. Oh, he was looking for Parker, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, I mean, it hadn't been a picture-perfect first half for this defense to this point, but that, that's a big play to get them right back in the ballgame. And I think that that changes their mind frame. Now they're saying to themselves, hey, we're still in this. And even though our offense hasn't done anything, we've had our troubles on our own right, we still made a play right there that could change the course of this game. Great job delivering. Take it in at the three. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. Marcus Jones. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Patriots. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge it. Kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Ravens ready to take over. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and ten. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap. He locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Jackson now on second and ten. He finds Bateman over the middle. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The Ravens on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Jackson now. Buying time to his left. And that is incomplete. Now now is a punter, Jordan Stout. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41-yard line. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 
Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. Throwing Jones. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Adafe Owe. He brought the pressure on the blitz, and he gets there for a loss of 12. Another try after the first down sack. Jones over the middle complete. That's Parker. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. He's got some space. Steps away. And the pass to Henry is intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And the Ravens are in great shape here as they take over at the 36-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 46. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Jackson. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. Mac Wilson. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. Well, when you time those screen passes perfectly, they can work perfectly, but that time it took a little too long to develop. And you zeroed in on exactly what makes that play go. Timing. Because if the timing's off at all, those unblocked defenders coming at the quarterback, they'll put him on the deck. Under pressure, they got him again. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. And now out come the Patriots. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks. And while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. On second and nine, Jones. And this is Parker complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. His second catch of this wild card game, and it goes for a first down. Harris running straight ahead, and down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. So a nice run there, and I have to think, a strong running game in the playoffs, maybe even more critical than the regular season. And if you go by the numbers, the man they have running it here, he was the best in the NFL. And since he led the league in rushing yards, I think it means he's going to see the ball a lot in this game, too, because that's what they're built like. That's what they're built around. So I think the offensive line, the tight end, the wide receivers, everyone is coming together, wanting him to get the ball and get it off him, and they want to carve some holes out there for him. Well, following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Four yards remain for second down. Now Jones dancing to his left. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. When you're a capable runner, oftentimes your quarterback coach, your offensive coordinator, they love to see you break the pocket and go ahead and take off. I think he could have gotten vertical and picked up something there. Instead, he pushed it downfield incomplete. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. He's going to have the first down and in so. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Harris. 
is into the end zone. Touchdown, New England. They got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. Jackson from the shotgun. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Andrews. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now they'll run the option to the short side left. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he is going to lose yardage here. A reminder coming up at the half, as we've done all year. We'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have the lowdown on what's going on here in this wild card weekend as we begin on the road to Super Bowl 53 in Atlanta. Jackson. And this one is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On third down, Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. Here's Jordan Stout now. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And they will take over first and ten. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. To throw again, Jones. Targets Parker, and he's got him on the crossing route. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Jones now throwing on first down. He'll find Parker again. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And in this very cold night air, how much harder, Charles, is it to hang on to that football? It's a lot harder. And I know for the most part, we think about a ball being slick when there's rain or snow, any type of moisture. But when it's cold and dry like and it this, is cold. and it is cold, it is also slick that way because you're not able to really grip it the same way. Your hands are cold, and, and, and then the hits seem harder. So, yeah, it's a lot more difficult to hold on to the football, which means you have to emphasize it that much more. Wind chills right now, 12 degrees. From the 41, Jackson toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now Jackson. And he'll just get rid of it. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Here's Jones. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. 
And with a three score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Chuck Clark able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. So we're at halftime of this AFC wild card matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. This, the last of our three games on this Sunday. One more to follow tomorrow night as we wrap up a very exciting three days of Super Wild Card Weekend. But first, let's take a look back to yesterday's AFC wild card game. And it's the Cincinnati Bengals who are moving on as they were able to take care of the Indianapolis Colts. Next, they look at the next-gen stats for the Ravens in that first half. And not much went right in those first two quarters. You can see the numbers on the ground there. Not a whole lot to write home about so far. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they too didn't do a whole lot in terms of rushing efficiency in that first half, as you can tell by the numbers there. Plenty of adjustments likely being made by both teams in their respective locker rooms to find out who advances to the divisional round. Let's get you back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. For the Patriots taking over to start quarter number three. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. Oh, but they run it more effectively. They may get even bigger plays in the passing game. So that flag obviously takes away the good yardage that they had on the play. And talk about a momentum shift because we can visibly see this celebration shifting from one side of the field to the other as soon as everyone saw the flag. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Now a pause and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Throwing on second and long. Jones. And throw right side complete to Parker. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain there of 21 yards. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They hand this off to Harris. And some room to work. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 55 rushing yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. First down, and they go back to Harris. The tackle there by Stephen Weatherly. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw, Jones. And his throw is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second and 10, Jones. And caught by Henry. And they're going to get this down to about the 17-yard line here. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. They'll look to throw again. And he fires one, but incomplete. 
I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start by running the option to the right. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Now flags come in. I think one of the Ravens got going a little early. And the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still first down. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. Jackson options out left. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. On second and 15 now. Jackson throw right side is complete to Andrews. His tight end. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Now it's Jackson. That's taken in by Duvernay. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. Jackson going to keep it running right. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And they have possession. And they have it at the 38-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And last time they were able to churn some clock. They got the field goal, added on to their lead. But that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game. But we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive. And he's going to profess that he was happy to get points. But and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. OK, after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Back to throw. Jones. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Looking to throw. Jones. It's Myers again with another catch. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. A nice grab there for a guy coming off a terrific season, one that saw him have over 100 catches. And when you have that many catches, that means you're a full part of the offense. And let's face it, he's been as good as anyone in the NFL this year. So figures he's going to play a big role in whether his team can advance in the playoffs. The quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Third quarter, wild card round. Thanks for being along for the playoff ride with us. Here's second and 10. Meanwhile, Jones' throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, Nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now a pause, and there's an injured Raven in need of some assistance. 
We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Open man right side, Myers. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And we've seen him have success earlier on with the ball in his hands because he is a get it in space and make a play kind of a receiver. But that time, they closed on him quickly and held him to a short game. The quick slant caught. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Back to throw again. Parker's got it for a Patriots touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Folk connects on the extra point, And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Looking up into the lights, and he muffs it. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Hey, no, no, no. Another run here with Dobbins. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. One quarter remains for the right to survive round one here in the AFC. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their point to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. John Harbaugh not afraid to go for it. This time doesn't work out. And the Patriots take over, and they're going to have terrific field position. Now a first down carry for Harris. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. It always helps when you get great run support from your safeties, and when you get one who can actually read the play and get upfield and shut it down before it gets going, that's exactly what you're looking for. Here's Jones from the gun on third down. It's caught on the right side at Smith. And he will have a Patriots first down, and he was able to get it by play. A gain of eight on third and three. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 89 yards rushing for him now, as he has been a central figure in trying to get his guys to the second round. Back to throw, Jones, touchdown, Patriots! Hunter Henry from a yard out. And the Patriots start to open this lead even wider here in the fourth. Extra point up and good by Folk. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. From the six. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And the Ravens taking the field. 
They are most likely staring at a cold end to their season here in this wild card round. Nothing has gone right so far. And they are, to be frank, in desperation mode now as they be The rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now here's another carry for Harris. And oh, he coughed it up. knocked free but a teammate comes along and scoops it up almost like it's almost like baseball guys at bat people are on base in scoring position one guy doesn't get them home the next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover and he will have a Patriots first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches well partner Marvin our number one stats guy just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark. Got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Escape it. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Tay Crowder putting in the work and getting that stop defensively. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down. He might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they get Jones for the third time in this ball game. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, Jackson. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. On third and one, Jackson. And now another turnover as this one's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And the Patriots will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Very good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 107 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the wild card round. They'll keep it on the ground. Harris again. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Tay Crowder able to make the play. 
The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. On the give, this is Harris. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Patriots with a football as we get you reset. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. The Patriots send out their punter, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is Did roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. He's going to let it fly. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. Jones on the return. As it stands, though, a heck of a 36-yard run back. And the Patriots will have great starting position as they take over first and 10. They run with Harris. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Four yards the pickup, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. They'll run again with Harris. He will push his way down to about the 14. The Patriots, as they so often do, moving on to the playoffs. As we say so long, everybody.